Hey, good morning, my friends. I'm live chief meteorologist Mark Torregrossa. Always something interesting in weather to find for you. And I found a couple of things of note. You know, we're early August. Where did June and July go, right? Early August. So what can the weather be like in Michigan here in early August? Well, if you've lived here long enough, you know it could be sizzling hot, the hottest weather of the year, or it can also start to have little previews of fall. And I'm going to show you the upper air patterns so that the first couple of weeks of August will be very nice with a couple of previews of fall and not the sizzling hot weather that we could have. And because of that, or uh, that situation is a result of a, quite a wet system for this time of the year. Uh, eventually coming through. So let's get on in tour. Say hi to some folks. Carl Yo, Lennox, good morning. Chloe Valentine from Fostoria, good morning. Uh, Andrew Michaela, how do you pronounce that? From Bayport Fish Company, good morning to you. I know exactly where you're at. And good morning, Earl Besner. All right, so the next couple of days, I will warn you that we have small areas of maybe almost potent thunderstorms, small, so that I don't talk about it to a whole bunch of you. Uh, but today it comes into the northwest part of lower Michigan. You'll see that on the model that I've picked out to show you for today. And then also in the tip of the thumb tomorrow, some vigorous, maybe severe thunderstorms could blow through there and you'll see that also. So here's your current radar and uh, yeah, we have a couple of spotty showers around the Saginaw area, east side of Bay City, um, very light. And then also around Ludington to Pentwater, and then a little more vigorous thunder shower dying now in intensity up across the UP, heading toward northwest lower Michigan, and that's what we'll pick up on. I, I do want to start, indulge me first, I do want to start on... Um, the overall pattern, because I think this is important so that you know what we have coming for the first uh, 10, 12 days of August. And you'll see why I'm saying it's not a real barn burner, but also at this time of the year, the residual heat in the ground and on the waters helps us get warmer than what the air pattern, uh, the forecast, the upper air pattern would forecast. So here we go. Now remember, the dark reds down in the south, that's where the, I guess we can call it killer heat wave, um, is going on. And we go into tomorrow, and we're in a northwesterly flow. That's why the disturbances are coming out of the northwest. We go into the weekend, and then you'll see our solid rain forming. This is Monday morning. See that big bend in the jet stream? That's an upper level storm system. That kind of storm at this time of the year brings us several hours of rain, some thunderstorms, and even as it's kind of wrapped around, it even brings us a cooler rain on the backside of the storm system. That moves off on Tuesday. And as we go through next week, notice again that we stay in this northwesterly flow and 10 days out, we have another one of those cold fronts coming through. So what we have is extreme heat parked in the southwest half of the U.S. And we have a, quite a chilly pocket parked to our north around Hudson Bay. And we're kind of in between. That means we get a little something of everything. So here's your radar forecast as we go into the afternoon. This is noon, 1, 2 o'clock. So, yes, there could be a patch of some uh, showers. Hey, Dave Brooks is having tuna for lunch. Okay. <laughs> Not a bad idea. Um, so today, Northwest Lower, you know, a, a quick thunder shower possible. Now we go into tomorrow and that disturbance sliding just to our east brings Right there brings thunderstorms down through the thumb. And I'll show you just a slight chance of them being severe. So 90% of 
Michigan is going to be dry over the next couple of days with a quick thunder shower. So this is the severe weather forecast for tomorrow. And you see the Northeast and the Thumb in a marginal risk of severe weather, a 5% chance of an isolated wind gust to 60 miles an hour. That's a very isolated thing along a thunderstorm. All right, now we've covered the short term. So today and tomorrow, I'd say generally good. Northwest lower, watch for a half hour, hour thunderstorm. And tomorrow, the Thumb and the far Northeast, Harrisville to Standish and Tawas, look for a quick half hour thunderstorm. Detroit, Lansing, Grand Rapids, don't worry about anything there. Then we go and look at the solid rain coming. Hey, good morning, um, Dave Brooks. Okay, so we're going to get through the next two days because this model isn't great at, at forecasting clumps of thunderstorms, but this is tomorrow afternoon, and notice it does some rains in the northeast and in the thumb. So we'll keep an eye on tomorrow. Tomorrow could be a surprise for some of you. Not now, of course, because you're checking me out. But for some of you that are using the phone app, it could be a surprise. This is Friday. Friday looks gorgeous. Looks a little bit cooler in my mind. Uh, this is Saturday. Right there. Perfect. You want a perfect day. How about 80? Fairly low humidity. Full sun aside from any smoke, and not much wind. So you want a perfect day. Now Sunday, still looking pretty good. This is into early afternoon. This is by evening. The clouds coming in as the storm develops off to our west. Nick Delfonso from Ethiopia? Really? This is Sunday night. This is Monday morning. This is a low pressure center coming across the state of Michigan and a widespread rain for everybody with some thunderstorms. This time of the year, with those kind of dynamics, you'd have to say severe weather is possible, although it's coming at the cooler time of the day, middle of the night in the morning. Um, but just the dynamics, we'll have to uh, keep an eye on it. But generally, I think it's a wet situation for Sunday night. And this is Monday morning into Monday afternoon. That's wet. And Monday afternoon into Monday evening. That's a north wind. That's showers. That's temperatures probably 65 to 70. And you go, ooh, did it jump to September already? And then it moves off. And we don't see the heat really build much. We see a random shower or two for the second half of next week. But really some nice weather and the next cold front gathering strength to the north by the time we get out to the end of next week. So today, we'll call it 80s, lower Michigan, except for the sunrise side, upper 70s. Tomorrow will be probably the warmest day of the week with High temperatures in the upper 80s. So tomorrow is a very summery day. Friday's summery in the south and the southwest and the Detroit, Ann Arbor, Grand Rapids, Kalamazoo areas. A little cooler in the northeast because of a northeast wind. Saturday, like I said, does that get any better? Upper 70s, low 80s. Sunday, Depending on where that warm front lies ahead of the storm system, you'll get into some very humid air, maybe Grand Rapids to Kalamazoo to Ann Arbor. And uh, it'll be warm everywhere on Sunday. Just is it warm or hot at your location? Yes, Met Valley rain generally holding off, depending on where you're at. Watch that quick thunderstorm. Now, this is Monday. Highs in the 60s. Cadillac, 66. Gaylord, 67. Southern Michigan, that might be a little bit too warm with highs near 80. And then this model wants to bring the surface temperatures back to about 80, upper 70s to low 80s all next week until we get to Friday and it starts to warm it up. Um, hey, can I show you one more? 
can I show you one more thing too? Humidity. We know at this time of the year we could be just unbearable humidity or we can get shades of comfortable humidity. I got to show you the dew point. Okay, remember the dew point is the temperature at which air would become saturated and theoretically dew would form. The higher the dew point, the more uncomfortable it is. When we have dew points in the 50s, we're very comfortable as Michiganders. When we have dew points in the 60s, we get kind of uncomfortable and dew points of 70 or above, and we really think it's it feels like Florida or New Orleans or something. So here's the dew point forecast. And the story on this is with the northwesterly flow, we're not going to have oppressive humidity very often. So here's the dew point forecast. And we go through the weekend. This is this is you know, this is, these are Saturday's dew points. Look at that. In the 50s and 40s, that's dry air. So 80 with dry air. A lot of the country would say, I want, sign me up for that. Of course, they don't want to sign up for <laughs> February, March, and April here either, do they? Um, so here's Sunday's dew points in the 50s. Now, as the storm approaches on Monday, of course, the humidity goes up. The amount of moisture in the air goes up. Then this is Tuesday. Dew points around 60. That's not terrible as far as humidity goes. Uh, Wednesday, dew points in the low 60s. Not terrible either. Thursday, dew points in the 50s. Next Friday, dew points in the 50s to near 60. So my point is that this first week of August coming up is going to be very nice. You know, we are going to have a rainy day, but we're going to have comfortably warm temperatures and comfortably moderate to low levels of humidity. Enjoy it. I wrote yesterday that if I had to tell friends and family when to visit Michigan, I would tell them first week or second week of August um, because of this. Still summer, get some breaks in the heat, and the humidity tends to go down somewhat. Enjoy it. Thanks for joining me. Hey, we're, we got a big crowd this morning. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm M Live Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrosa. Have yourselves a great day. Bye.